In this series, both Nimnim and myself will be plumbing the depths of the Yu-Gi-Oh! courthouse. With puns, a soul-stealing system, and plenty of other fun surprises, this is Progression Turnabout. Oh, f***, we'll click this for sure. Warning, the following case is 100% canon. 9.34 a.m., right in co-law office. So loud. The Progression Series. Every week, billions of fans rush to their computers to watch Nim Nim and Simo duke it out. Even Maya raved about it. I dismiss it as just another fad until... Man, I missed the OST. Nick, I've got a new case! You have to take it! At least tell me a bit about it first. Too late! I already offered uh, the client 5% off for our services and he accepted! What? Don't worry, it's a real simple case. It's not even something dramatic like a murder, just a civil case. It'll be great for business, too. Our client is world famous, Alex Simo. Who? Is it that surprising? Uh, yeah, everybody knows about the progression series. Everyone! Yeah, I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in. He's as big as the Steel Samurai. Anyway, I've set up a lunch meeting later today at the local burger place. Don't you dare be late. All right. Look, look, he's here. Ah, you're Phoenix, right? Yes, I'm Phoenix, right? Er, right. Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Simo, and this is a nice restaurant. Yes, I suppose it is. So you need a lawyer for a false advertising case? That's right. My show, The Progression Series, is quite popular, so I'd appreciate some discretion with regard to this matter. You bet, Mr. Simo. Won't breathe a word to anyone. Promise! There's been increasing suspicion that The Progression Series is rigged. What? No way! A few people on the internet spread rumors about both Nim Nim and myself, and now I'm being sued for false advertising. The police have detectives asking all sorts of questions. They think I'm responsible. Preposterous! Unthinkable! Out of the question! Glad someone's on my side. Twitch chat is roasting me over the coals. If this keeps up, the show could be history. History of Yu-Gi-Oh, more like! I take the competitive integrity of the progression series very, very seriously. Not to worry, Mr. Simo. We'll get to the bottom of these, uh, suspicions. Thanks, the trial's tomorrow. If you need any information, go visit Gage. Oh no! The Simo picture is broken! Could you sign my Chaos Sorcerer? Oh, we have it! Sure thing, kid. <laughs> what? I can't play this! And yet I will. <sighs> Nothing really to examine, I think. You think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and uh, tell lies? Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Okay. <laughs> Looking for me, detective? That's right, the whole squad's been talking about it. Simo asked you to cover a case. Am I right or am I right, pal? Well, worry not, pal. The new guy in the force knows all about this stuff. Welcome to the police department. You're working on- It's Doc! <laughs> <laughs> on a big progression series case, right? I've got all the relevant files on my computer right here. I just need to click print. I wasn't sure about this newbie, but he's sure on top of things. What a swell guy. Oh, no. I misclicked. <laughs> it's uh, all gone. This is coming out of my pay. I can just feel it. Okay. <laughs> Detective. Detective. Right, let's go to the Gage cage. This doesn't look like Gage's usual place. Maybe someone up there is getting lazy. Uh, can I help you? Let me see. <laughs> this is what they look like. <laughs> okay, okay. Whoa! The Gage Nim Nim Poljock in the flesh! Aw oh, yeah, you're a fan? Sweet. Nice to meet you. Please look around as much as you like. I love showing off where the magic happens. Oh, we can examine this one. Was that your progression series collection? Sure is. Got any ideas about what I should play this week? Two, Tangu, you're gonna win for sure! Okay, I, I think this is fine. <clears throat> okay. Let's, uh, let's move to, uh, the police department. Here's everything relevant I could find. Okay. Whoa! Um, hello? That doesn't look right. Anything suspicious? Hard to say. We can't track people by username. It might be useful for you, though. Thanks a lot. Looking forward to Master Saga. Aw, thanks. All right, let's rest up. It's time for the case tomorrow. 
We're in a bit of a hurry today, so we aren't bothering with the prosecutor. Witness, please take the stand. That's the witness, but that's Simo's co-host, Nim Nim. Why would he accuse Simo of rigging the progression series? All right, here's my testimony. It feels like there's some funny business going on. Let's, let's press him. What kind of funny business? I'm getting to it. Okay. I think the progression series has been rigged against me from the start. Rigged? That's a bold accusation. Yeah, I know. But still, I just have a feeling. That's not much to go on. My win rate is proof of that. And what's your win rate in the progression series? Maybe 35, 40%. That doesn't sound too low. Well, it is. After 100 episodes, it shouldn't, shouldn't it even out to about 50, 50? I suppose so. Something about his argument doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense. Surely the better player would win more games. Wow, bro, calling me a bad player now. Trust me, I've been crazy unlucky. Let me explain. My pulls are way more honest, bro. <clears throat> honest, what do you mean by that? I mean, my pulls are legitimate. Check the logs, bro. I don't see what a tree has to do with anything. On YGOProDeck.com. Simo and I use it to build our simulated collections for the progression series. And the reason my pulls are more honest is Simo doesn't even do his pulls live on stream. <laughs> Do you really think your co-host would cheat so openly? I don't know, man, maybe. All I know is this cheating business isn't getting pinned on me. Not with my win rate. It's not giving us much to go on. Sounds like iconic Nim Nim complaining. If he's so insistent there's cheating going on, it's possible he's trying to deflect from the real cheating. Hmm. Yeah, we really don't have a lot going on here. Let's present, let's present the data. Objection. There's a contradiction in this testimony. Trap stud. What? Imperial order, my body's a shield, mirror force. I don't know what any of that means, but the judge, no! Damn. Maybe we'll try this. Objection. Music continuing. Data on four. One, two, three. Sorry. One, two, three, four. My win rate is proof of that. Man, this is hard. <clears throat> Can you check the data? So we know that he's been pulling more. But how do we do this? It even has an ace attorney memento. Mr. Paul Jack, I have the logs from the last month from Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Deck, and it looks like someone pulled from Extreme Victory eight times before saving the collection. On the last episode of Progression Series, you cheated your pulls, didn't you? What? You're crazy, bro! You've got no proof that username is mine! In fact, I do. Here's the proof that Gage is the one who re-rolled his pulls. The other day, I took note of your username on YGO Pro Deck. And as it turns out, that username matches these suspicious pulls. Care to explain? Wow! Those were all redoer tickets! Any real fan would know. You ran out of redoer tickets months ago! Well, I mean, wait, you can't... No! I've been defeated. Well, I guess that settles it. I declare the defendant, Alex Simo. <laughs> I... I, I can't believe how good this was. Before you haul me off to prison, I've got one last request. Can I play one last match with a friend? You've made a lot of people very angry with your behavior, but I believe that can be arranged. There's a spare room you can use when we're finished with the paperwork. <clears throat> well, that's another case solved. You were right, Maya. It was easy. I guess so. What's wrong? Now the gauge is going to prison. The progression series is on hiatus. We did the right thing today. Ah! Was that... <gasps> no! He's gonna get killed! That was his iconic Amazonist call! We have no time to lose. <laughs> no entry, pal. This is an active crime scene. It came as soon as I heard the call, but we were too late. Gage isn't looking good. According to the paramedics, he's catatonic. Won't move a muscle. Gage. Looks like Gage was in the middle of a duel with someone and then just fell. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. It's far, far! I just got this invitation. It told me to come here and bring a deck. I guess it was from Gage because he included this cute little custom card of himself. I always keep my full power Burning Abyss deck in my locker just in case. Farfa, what are you doing here? I was just hired as the new bailiff. Let's check this now. Discuss a business opportunity. Let's check the gauge card. Okay, I can't actually see what's on the gauge card. Okay. Okay. Gage's opponent got off to an early lead. Gage used Change of Heart to tip the scales. He attacked Treeborn Frog with PD Warrior later, then activated, uh, then attacked and attacked position Dekowichi with Thunder King Ryo. He used Mystical Space Typhoon to destroy a trap hole. Gage's opponent has no cards in play, but maybe he can turn it around. Since when do bailiffs dress like that? Yu-Gi-Oh! was originally a manga written by Kazuki Takahashi, but it spun off. The original manga was about Yugi Moto, a high schooler living with a dark spirit. That's great, but after he solved the Millennium Puzzle, the spirit of an ancient pharaoh took over his body to punish evildoers with shadow games. And the Millennium Puzzle wasn't the only magic item. The rod could enslave people's minds, the ring could point to the wearer's desires, and the eye could read minds to trap a person's soul in a card. There are some others, but they don't matter. <clears throat> Along with the card, found them in my lock. It might have been MBT. I saw him run towards the lockers in a panic. In fact, I have security camera footage of that exact event. Why do I have it? This is a lot of time and effort for a meme shitpost. We have to save time. Okay. <laughs> Phoenix, you have to help me! Who are you? Oh, right. I guess I should introduce myself. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm Joseph Rothschild, a.k.a. MBT, and I need a defense attorney on the double! You saw Gage, right? They think I'm responsible! They're gonna yada lock me and throw away the magic key! Wait, that's the one from the... from here! <laughs> Say it. MBT. Please, from one defense attorney to another. Your defense attorney, too. Ah! I've talked about judge calls with Coder a lot. That's close, right? I was nowhere near the duel room. I haven't been in near it all day, really. <gasps> Holy shit. Okay, all right. Let's use the Magatana. My stand! Must be something that sounds incriminating. Are you sure you haven't been near the duel room today? What is this, a pop quiz? I already said I wasn't. I have some evidence to the contrary. Do I? Um, what the st Here's the proof that you were in the duel room today. Oh, this. Video camera footage? I'm afraid I don't follow. You were spotted today running towards Farfa's locker, and he reported what you put inside. More specifically, the invitation. Someone told you to go to the duel room today at 4, and after Gage screamed, you were in quite the hurry to get rid of that invitation. Alright, you're right, but I didn't go into the room, okay? He's still hiding something. If he went into the duel room, what did he see that he wants nothing to do with? I have no idea. Let's try this. Oh, yeah. You were the only one who put something in one of his lockers, so it have to come with you. Sure. If you want me to represent you, you're going to have to tell me the full story. I'll come clean. Just after the trial, I noticed that someone had slipped an invitation into my pocket. I didn't catch who wrote it, but I went to the duel room just before four regardless. The room was empty, so I waited in the attached side room. I figured that whoever invited me would meet me there. I brought my favorite deck like the invitation said, and I started practicing combo lines to pass the time. But I, uh, I got too into it. I didn't notice any noise around me. I was too focused on perfecting my plays. Gage's scream shocked me back to the real world. The door was blocked, and it took me a minute to open it. Gage was there on the floor with that card next to him. I didn't see anyone else around. I knew I would look like the prime suspect, so I ran. I pocketed the card without thinking, so I stuffed it into Farfa's locker with the invitation. Okay. <clears throat> Great! It's fucking... It's Francisca Von Karma. <clears throat> as ready as we'll ever be. Very well. Prosecution, you may begin. As it happens, we have a decisive witness, Alex Simo! He saw the accused, Joseph Rothschild, fleeing the scene of the crime after it occurred. Mr. Simo, your testimony, if you please. Sure thing, Manai the Thorn. 
the witness will refrain from calling me by such a foolish name from a foolish game. I didn't have any business in the duel room. I was exiting the restroom when I heard Gage scream. And where was this restroom? Just around the corner. I heard Gage scream, and then a moment later, MBT ran out of the duel room in a hurry. Was there anyone else in the duel room? The door swung open, and I didn't see anyone else inside it besides Gage, of course. If there was no one else inside, then the cards in that room are his deck. How can you be so sure? Gage could have lent him a deck to use. A loner deck is a great way to lose quickly, Mr. Wright. No self-respecting duelist is ever caught without their favorite deck on them. He had to be Gage's opponent, so he had to have committed the crime. But my client had no way to carry out this crime. So talk to your client. Finding a contradiction is your job here, not mine. He was seen in the duel room after Gage screamed. Even he doesn't deny that. <clears throat> These aren't Joseph's cards. Let's save, though. Mr. Simo, your position here seems to be that MBT was playing that deck, but that doesn't seem very likely to me. This hero ghost trick deck. <laughs> the cards on the table don't match the contents of MBT's deck. They look like one of your famous Chaos Monarch lists. The only hero is Stratos and the only ghost trick is Angel of Mischief. Urgh. That's quite the heads up play, Phoenix. Fine, out of respect for my co-host, I didn't want to muddy my case, this case with my involvement. I was Gage's opponent, but the rest of what I said is the truth. You expect the court to trust you right after lying. I expect the court to listen to the facts. We're here to catch a criminal, Phoenix, not win on judge calls. Now, if I may continue my testimony. I was the one dueling Gage in that duel. <clears throat> Why did you hide that fact from the court? I have a no spoilers policy. It's good for business. No spoilers. Left between games to use the rest of why not just hold it? Do I really have to justify my bladder to the court? No, I suppose not. As I returned, I heard Gage scream and saw MBT run out of the room. Normally, if a witness lies on the stand, their testimony is thrown out. I'm well known around here, Phoenix. I'm unaffected by the little rules that guide your content. Like a towers, really. Did he say between games? There was a game in progress. That's good. That's true! Another first try, I'm just too good. Mr. Simo. No need for the formalities, Phoenix. My friends call me Simo. Simo. You might think your argument is unassailable, but you've just committed a grave misplay. I don't misplay, right? My combo lines are perfect. Oh, really? You say you left between games, but there's clearly a game in progress. If your game was finished, you'd have both shuffled your cards back into your own decks. Ah. Well, I must have misspoken then. I had no reason to stay, you see. We weren't playing on a clock or anything. Gage was gracious enough to let me use the restroom, so we paused the game. That's all there is to it. Unless you have some kind of proof to the contrary. Indeed I do. Do I? I feel like I don't! You wouldn't have left till the game was over. Okay, let's let's check the let's check the, the duel. Doesn't say he banished with DD Warrior Lady. So theoretically, this should be enough. Take that! that proves nothing. Perhaps it. Oh fuck. Simo wouldn't have left the room. They weren't in the middle of any old game. I guess we can try the video camera. The reason is simple. You'd never leave the room in the middle of recording the progression series. There's only one thing capable of creating the conditions of this crime, the Millennium Eye. It's capable of stealing the soul of a duelist and sealing it in a card. And as you can see, Simo is wearing sunglasses to conceal his eyes. Fuck, we didn't get to see it. A foolish argument from a foolish defense. You have no proof of any of this. The defense would like to put forward a theory on the timeline of events. Just after the trial earlier today, Simo wrote the invitation intending to give it to MBT. With Gage going to prison, he needed a new host for the progression series, and he had my client in mind. He told MBT to be there at four, but he wasn't expecting so much paperwork after the trial. As a result, MBT arrived before Gage and Simo did. Maybe you noticed he was there, maybe you didn't. In any case, he stole Gage's soul during your game. He let out an unexpected scream, so you fled the scene, leaving behind the card containing his soul. You earned your reputation for lucky draws because MBT happened to run out after you, incriminating 
fighting card in hand. He ran off and you followed, ensuring he'd be the prime suspect. Quite the timeline you've got, Phoenix. Your Honor, the prosecution requests some time to- <laughs> However, I'd like to see some proof. Proof that I was the one who wrote that invitation. Fuck. Seems your luck is rubbing off on me. I've got the perfect card right here. Do I? This is the proof that you wrote the invitation. <gasps> I do! Take that! that card. That's right. You signed this card for a fan earlier today. The defense requests that the court's handwriting analysis compare this card with the invitation. Unless the witness would like to save us some time. Fine, I admit it. I wrote that note, as you said. I still had no reason to kill Gage. I demand more testimony. Suit yourself. I'll dismantle your lies like a well-placed cross-out designator. You think I took Gage's soul and sealed in a card? That's ridiculous! Hold it! The Lydimai is well-documented, and you were dueling him. Doesn't it sound so ridiculous to me? I don't care what you think. I never would have done this, because... I've got no motive at all. When Gage gets out of prison, I need him alive to continue the progression series. Is that so? The business opportunity in the invitation sure sounds like a co-host position. You could have disposed of Gage and found a new co-host in one fell swoop. Are you insane? Gage is crazy popular. I can't just replace him regardless of any cheating. I lose on the progression series all the time. I never needed revenge for that. Just how often do you win? About 60-65%. I pride myself on being a strong duelist, but I've always taken a loss with grace. Ask anyone. It's true. Simo's no sore loser. And besides, why would I steal Gage's soul over a game I was about to win? Oh, I got it. There is no need to badger the witness. The defendant could have easily used the eye, then slipped it into his pocket. I actually have it, yeah. Why would I steal it? I was about to win? Oh, really? What? Uh-oh. I guess we could use Gage's hand? It's the one with honest in it. Nope. Save and reload for image fix. Prison. Showed the card picture. Ah, oh, it didn't work. This is a good question. Maybe we can present his hand? I have no idea. <clears throat> wow. I have no idea. Does the autopsy give us anything? Let's check it. Uh, there's nothing in it. No wounds or signs of struggle. Reload. Okay. Hold up. Objection! There we go. You're right. It was on the wrong one. It's time to establish something important. As you say, there is no reason to steal Gage's soul for beating you in a card game. But the Millennium Eye has another use, reading the mind of the opponent. Do you mean to accuse me of cheating on the same day as defending me from cheating allegations? No, I think it went deeper than that. You used the Millennium Eye to make sure Gage wasn't cheating. You told me something when we first met. I take the competitive integrity of the progression series very, very seriously. It makes perfect sense that you'd be monitoring Gage during the episode to be certain he played fair. But you saw something unexpected earlier today. Gage could have beaten you with the honest in hand, but didn't. What are you playing at? With the Millennium Eye, you saw into his heart. You saw 
the remorse he felt. Remorse that led him to throw your last game. The idea that Nimnim would destroy the credibility of your series not once but twice was unthinkable. In a rage, you stole his soul from his body and let MBT take the fall. No, I won't accept it. He couldn't have after so many episodes. Remove your sunglasses, Simo. Let the court see the truth. If you want 5% off singles or sealed product. <laughs> it's over. You win. You've turned this case into a real nightmare thing. <laughs> Judge, I'm ready to accept your solemn judgment. What a shocking turn of events! With a confession, I can now pronounce the defendant, Joseph Rothschild, not guilty. <laughs> that was a crazy case, but I'm glad it's over. Sorry your favorite series is ending, Maya. Actually, it's not. Since Simo and Gage are both going to prison, they're planning to continue. They're calling it Jailhouse Prague. Has a nice ring to it, if you ask me. Uh-huh. Phoenix! I can't... <laughs> Thank you enough for getting me off the hook there. Think nothing of it. Finding the truth and defending the innocent is what an attorney does. Seems the popularity for this strange game and these strange people isn't going away anytime soon. I guess I'll just have to get used to it. Let's go home, Nick. I've got to submit a banger for the memes thread this week. Oh shit, that's right. I have to react to the new episode, the one they filmed today, and I forgot to post the memes thread. Maybe I should learn about this game to take an interest in Maya's hobbies. Nah, at least not until they release a defense attorney archetype. That was so good. Holy fuck. That was incredible. That's like literally the best meme I've ever seen in the thread. Holy shit. <laughs> hey, exchange of the spirit. Welcome to the band club. <laughs> the end. Oh my god. That was crazy. This is the easiest VIP of my life. <laughs>